If you guys are interested in being a member, then click the join button down below to check out the available perks. The first tier is only $1. Thank you to those of you who choose to join. What's up Mod Squad, welcome to another Division 2 build breakdown video. Before we get into the video, if you're already subscribed to me, then don't forget to smash that like button as it really helps push our videos into the recommended section, which in turn helps the channel grow. Interaction plays a big part in what helps us with the YouTube algorithm and the extra support is very much appreciated. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to smash that subscribe button for lots more Division 2 content. Well Mob Squad, Title Update 20 is finally here and with this new update has come the return and revival of a talent that fell off many updates back. A talent that was a big community favourite, especially for those who love the armour stack in run and gun builds. That talent being Intimidate. Previously Intimidate would stack 1 stack per second to a max of 7 and each stack increased total weapon damage by 5% to enemies within 10 meters. But now it gains 3 stacks per second up to a max stack of 9 and each stack increases total weapon damage by 4% to enemies within 10 meters. Intimidate was a staple talent for those who love the bonus armor stacking builds and with it reworked I thought it was time to pair it with the OG OP run and gun gear set that being Hunter's Fury which also received a little change in title update 20. That change being the health on kill you gain going from 100% down to 50%. Now because this build is all about stacking bonus armor, that change doesn't really affect the build and its performance. Also, the armor regen this build has will make up for that nerf. Also, if you guys are wondering what SMG I'm using in the gameplay, that would be the newly buffed CMMG Banshee, which received a 5% weapon damage increase as well as a 50% RPM increase, taking it from 900 RPM to 950 RPM. Before this change I favoured the SIG MPX, but with the damage and RPM increase it has to be the Banshee. Today's build is one of the most basic and simple builds to make and it offers an insane amount of utility, damage and survivability. Just off one kill alone you're looking at 30% armor on kill, 50% bonus armor on kill, 50% health on kill, status effect on kill, 5% rate of fire on kill and 15% weapon damage on kill. At its base, this build has 1.5 million armor and fully stacked is capable of reaching well over 3 million. So you'll be able to tank mass amounts of damage while you're running and gunning. On top of being a tank, we have all the survivability I mentioned earlier, plus 3% armor regen. So not only do we have burst forms of healing, but we also have passive healing as well. Both types helping in different situations. This is an outright run and gun solo build that requires an aggressive playstyle in order to survive. With each kill you replenish base armor, stack bonus armor, as well as gain damage, so the more you kill, the stronger you'll get. This build is perfect for all heroic content, whether that's control points, bounties, or the summit. If you have any questions, then leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll reply like I always do. Now we spoke a little bit about the build and showcase some of what it's capable of, let's get into a quick build breakdown before ending this video with some gameplay. Right guys, starting off with the specialization and we are using the gun. Our reason being is it synergizes so well with the rest of our build. This specialization offers DPS, survivability and utility. As you can see, we get the right phone grenade, which is great for both PvE and PvP. If you can funnel enemies and then use this grenade, you will snare a bunch of them, which makes them easier to kill. Up next, killing enemies grants 10% armor, which adds on to the 20% we already have on our build, taking us to a total of 30%. Next, every third reload is 50% faster. That's going to add to DPS, and it comes in clutch, especially when you're using a low mag SMG. The armor kit on this build gives us 100% armor repair and then 30% bonus armor for 10 seconds. Every specialization has a skill with it that you can unlock and as you can see is the Banshee Pulse. You can see in the gameplay that it is very effective, stuns NPCs making them easier to kill. This specialization also generates 10% of total ammo capacity every 60 seconds. Which is great if you're a solo player because you'll find you'll never run out of ammo. If you're not picking up through NPCs then this specialization will be replenishing it for you. Up next, rate of fire increase by 5% on kill. This is just going to add to our DPS helping us kill faster. 50% pulse resistant, that's going to help when you're in a dark zone. And that is pretty much it for the specialization. So with that said, let's move on to the build breakdown. Right guys, starting off with the primary weapon, we have the newly buffed CMMG Banshee. Like I said, it was buffed by 5% weapon damage and got a 50% RPM increase. Taking it from 900 RPM to 950. And the talent we have is Killer, killing an enemy with a critical hit grants plus 40% critical hit damage for 10 seconds. The attachments we have are 5% critical hit chance on the site, 20 extra rounds in a magazine, 5% crit chance on a laser pointer, and 5% critical hit chance on the muzzle. 
Moving on to our secondary and you can either use the ACS-12 shotgun with the Vindictive talent so you'll gain an extra 15% crit chance and 15% critical hit damage or you can actually use the name version of the Banshee which is called the Grudge and that will give you the perfect Vindictive talent so when you kill an enemy within 20 meters you'll gain 18% critical hit chance and 18% critical hit damage for 20 seconds then you can switch back to your primary Banshee and you have the extra damage stacked on top either one of these weapons is great to use seeing as we're using Hunter's Fury and it boosts both SMG and shotgun damage Moving on to our sidearm, of course we have the Orbit Pistol, 20% reload speed on the drum, and we have 10% accuracy on the sight. The talent of course is the perfect finisher talent, swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy, grants 35% critical hit chance and 40% critical hit damage for 15 seconds. Moving on to the gear pieces now, starting off with our Hunter's Fury Mask, we have 170k armor, 12% critical hit damage and 12% critical hit damage via a mod. Our chest piece is Sokolov, giving us 10% SMG damage, we have 15% weapon damage, 6% crit chance, 12% critical hit damage, and 12% critical hit damage via mod, and the newly buffed Intimidate Talon. While you have bonus armor, gain 1 stack each second up to a max of 9. Each stack increases weapon damage by 4% to enemies within 10 meters. All stacks are lost when you have no bonus armor. Onto our Hunter's Fury holster, we have 170k armor and 12% critical hit damage. Our knee pads are Hunter's Fury, rolled for 15% weapon damage and 10.2% critical hit damage. I have yet to optimize these. Our gloves are Hunter's Fury with 170k armor and 12% critical hit damage. And finally, our backpack is the Memento backpack, the best piece of gear for solo players in the game. We have 15% weapon damage, 170k armor, 1 skill tier, 12% critical damage via a mod, and we have the kill confirmed talent, which allows us to stack all this bonus armor as well as gain damage and skill efficiency. So looking at the skills, you could either use a shield or you can use the striker drone which serves as a distraction. A 7.5% duration mod here, a 10% health mod, and a 4.8% damage mod. Moving on to our second skill, and it is my beloved Banshee Pulse. I absolutely love this skill. This is what helps us pop the Vindictive Talent. We have 15% Radius. The second mod gives us 15% Effect Duration. Moving on to the stat sheet now, guys. We have 52% Crit Chance. You'll gain extra Crit Chance from the talents like Vindictive and Finisher. We have 139.2% Crit or Hit Damage. That'll be dramatically boosted when you gain the Killer Talent, as well as Vindictive or Finisher. Let me know what you think about this build down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the changes that have come with TU20. There are plenty more videos to come, guys. Let me know your ideas for builds down in the comment section below. It's nice to be back and it's nice to be making videos. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the comment section. Don't forget to smash that like button to help us grow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Mob Squad. in route standing ready detecting additional hostile contacts <laughs>